Sarah and Dane, what's the story behind this picture? Oh, I think I know this. Yeah. Yeah, is it the ghost flasher? <laughs> I'd like to know more about this. OK, so in Romford, when I was going to school, mm. there, was, uh, there was obviously a flasher. We never actually saw him get his penis out. Okay. But sometimes when we got off the bus, someone would have ejaculate on their coat or their blazer oh. or their bag. <laughs> what? And I think that's what's happened to her. Were you all checking before you got on the bus that nobody had ejaculate on them? <laughs> <laughs> it's literally the first thing I do when I leave the house. Well, <laughs> is, is there any on me? <laughs> it, looks like, it looks like the lady, is she's signing to a football team. Next yeah. to, like, yeah. David Moyes. Exactly. Like, coming next year to Tottenham Hotspurs. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. I think they've sat down on a park bench and it's covered in bird, um... bird poop. You're not far off, but not close enough to okay. get a point, I'm afraid. While out on a dog walk, the couple moved to one side to let another person pass and, as a result, brushed up against the greasy gate. And Mr Greasy Coat said... I'm upset and angry because they were perfectly good coats until this happened. <laughs> Who's going to break it to those two that their coats were already shit? <laughs> <laughs> they didn't brush against that gate. They clearly grinded on that gate. <laughs> they exactly. worked the pole on that gate. <laughs> look at them. Absolutely <laughs> smothered. OK, Maisie and Jack, here's one for you. Take a look at this artfully staged oh. photo. What's, wow. what's left this man looking so perplexed? <laughs> oh. that, that is a chap who's eaten too much fibre. Yeah. <laughs> he looks like he's in the middle of trying to shift that fire. Yeah. <laughs> Did he have a fruit and nut bar and he's annoyed with the lack of chocolate in that fruit and nut bar? <laughs> he would be living, or is it like he? a yeah. supermarket replacement? So he asked for something and yeah. they've just given that as the replacement because it's always very odd. Or it could be something completely different, like he'd ordered some tampons. Yeah. And they're like, we've run out, it's a banana. <laughs> That's a banana. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Peel it first, though, don't be a monster. I, I think having your photo <laughs> taken by a local paper must be the most painful experience oh, yes. oh, yeah. possible. Yeah. No one likes having their picture taken anyway with that whole pose, like, and can you look a bit more perturbed? Yes. Like, really channel that thing. Yeah. Because you were angry, weren't you, Graham? So why don't you show us some of the anger? <laughs> what do you reckon? Now, let me push you for an answer. What are you thinking? I think something like they've asked for fruit and nut and they've just given him fruit and a nut. It's a really good answer. It's not <gasps> the right answer, oh. though. Uh, this man was asked for ID as he tried to buy bananas and a bag of fruit and nuts at the supermarket despite being 50 years old. According to the staff, they were checking for proof of age in case he was going to ferment them to make alcohol. No. <laughs> what? You know, no. The famous alcoholic drink all the kids are talking about. Nutty Nanas. <laughs> also, if kids are clever enough to do that, then let them drink. Yeah. 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 If you can make it yourself, but you're old enough to drink it. Yeah. 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 You've turned it into a science project. Yeah. And that's absolutely fine. Have you ever been refused? I mean, not to sort of broad strokes here, but generally it does happen to women a lot more than men, I think, that yeah. you do get ID'd, like you often yeah. look younger than your age. You know? I, um... I had it, obviously. You still look 14. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Um, and even when I was 18, sometimes I forget to bring my ID out with me and want to go drinking, whatever. And I don't know if you know, but bouncers don't respond too kindly to check his Wikipedia. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, Sarah and Dane, another one for you. Uh, what's the complaint behind this photo? This man has had a very, very bad divorce. Yeah, it's like the house has been stolen. Is your first? Yeah. <laughs> I love the idea of a, a house being stolen. Like, as if he's just rocked up there and been like, he was here when I left. <laughs> is he looking for um, some kind of planning permission on a Native American burial ground? Because that never goes well. <laughs> Could be. Is he protesting they're building a car park next to his house? Exactly oh, right. One. I'll give you a point for that. A man was left furious with his local council after waking up to find a repugnant car park being built right next to his home. I think it's fair enough that he's annoyed. He's not going to be able to sleep anymore because of people like Dane trying to park. Maisie and Jack, take a look at this clip and see if you can work out what the woman was complaining about. I mean, I couldn't even... <laughs> Look at it because I was that shocked, and then I obviously put it on social media. And people's put on it looks like a wet cashew nut, it looks like an alien feces, uh, a fetus. I says, I've even asked Google if they could tell us what it was. What do you reckon? The new series of the hairy bikers don't put much <laughs> cock, does it? Whatever it is, it's horrific. <laughs> um, <laughs> with each angle that that clip showed, it looked like something different. It went from yeah. fetus to hearing aid like that. Yeah. <laughs> it must be a fetus. Maybe it's like day six. But why? So show you like a baby scan mm. and they're like, look, and you can't see 
anything. It's just a black and white blob. Then I don't mind those ones. I find the 3D ones oh, where yeah. you can actually see a baby oh, like... Oh, you can see his eyes. <laughs> 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 oh, yeah. Yeah. I don't what? like it too much. <laughs> I'll give you a point if you can tell me what that cake is supposed to be. Exactly. Is it, is it meant to be an ear? Why would you get a cake of an ear? Like, you don't have an ear... Maybe she's a big nose. Van Gogh fan, I don't know. Oh, big Van Gogh. <laughs> Do you want a piece a of cake? No, I've got one here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to say we think she's a big Van Gogh fan. OK. And she's asked for an ear cake. <laughs> Let's see, shall we? I was looking for a really good cake for a bodybuilder. I found a great design, like a bodybuilder's arm. So I searched like, in the internet on social media and I found this girl and she says, will you come and meet us in the back lane in Baker? So I said, yeah, no problem. And then she, said, she passed us the cake... But she said, do not open it until you get home because it's pouring down the rain and it'll get spoiled. Oh, well, you've gone to pick up a £50 cake in the back lane in Biker. <laughs> and yeah. the, the person who made it's gone, don't open it now, you know. Nothing good happens in the back lanes of Biker. <laughs>